What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today's episode is titled, What did I get myself into again? I'm joking. Today's episode is where we are going to be discussing the start of the gravity and the SIMA boat for 2024. So you guys know how we do it. It's a lot of stress, but eventually we pull it off. And if you want to see more, stay tuned. Okay guys, so uh, the past four months has been the most challenging for me in my business. I've had a lot of difficulties, a lot of issues that I've been facing. Most of it is caused by staffing, having the incorrect staff and not having the support structure to grow the business. So that has affected a lot of things. It's also affected us starting the actual project. We really don't have much time to finish the project. But luckily we have more time than the previous project, so I'm feeling a bit confident in that aspect. So I actually want to run a podcast. Um, I do have a podcast, we just has a, haven't uh, aired it out as yet. But I want to actually go through business challenges that we face, have a few discussions and hopefully some of the mistakes I made, some of the things we did well. Maybe you guys can learn from it because you guys know I'm all about sharing my knowledge. I'm all about sharing my lessons. And all I can say is my lesson from January up until now, if you're going to employ staff, employ staff that have the same vision and work ethic as you. Because if you employ the wrong people, they can definitely stuff up your business. But enough of that. We're back on track. Things are uh, flowing smoothly now. Let's talk about the project. So as you guys know, we attempting to attend SEMA. Also, I've got a very good relationship with the guys from Gravity and the UK car scene. And they've been so amazing to us. I actually want to go back and support them. So we're going to possibly be attending Gravity. So the car will stay in the UK and get shipped from the UK to America. So that's our plan more or less. So what do we build? Now I'm showing you guys this project, I've got a few more surprises for you, but the surprises will only be launched about a month before we actually leave. That's going to be quite exciting. I can't wait for your guys' reaction. But in the meantime, let me take you guys through the E34 525 wagon and uh, give you guys an idea and also get your opinion on what we're trying to do. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are wondering why this car was such a renowned show. But like I mentioned to you, it is a big surprise that none of you guys know about, uh, which I'm excited to reveal closer to the time, but for now we're focusing on the wagon. So why an E34 525 wagon? Well, according to stats, there's only 48 that was brought into South Africa for the South African market. This is one of the 48. I recently learned that from a gentleman by the name of Anthony. The nice thing is, the E30 scene is quite close, but there's another scene, which is the E34 scene where the guys are like family and everyone's willing to help out and share some advice. And that's what I love about it. So I decided to choose this car. I've always wanted this car. I've always wanted to build it. I've always wanted to bag it. It's something different in SA. If I'm not mistaken, this will be the only bagged one in Africa. I know I say that a lot, but it's like a big thing. So definitely bagging the car. The only work we've managed to do from January, we were supposed to start on the project in January, but we've been so busy, a lot of issues we needed to sort out. The only thing we managed to do was to pull the motor out. And uh, the car initially came with a five to five motor and that wasn't gonna cut it. So my initial plan for this car was to convert it to an E34 M5 station wagon replica. However, the plans have changed. I managed to source the suspension from Durban. I'll take you through the suspension now. 
However, I'm struggling finding an E34 M5 that's reasonably priced. And when I say reasonably priced, I'm not looking to buy something that's in one condition. Because for me to buy a one condition car and strip it and transplant doesn't make sense. So I kind of want to buy a project car where I'm looking just for the motor and the duff and prop shaft, etc. But that's been very difficult because I've been struggling to find. So here's a tip for you guys. If you guys know of anyone selling an T34 M5 that we could use as a donor car for this car, please send us a message. You'll be interested in purchasing the car. So first step was to remove the motor. You guys can see we haven't even stripped the car down yet, but we will be getting to it shortly. Now I have a backup plan. So if I don't find an E34 M5 donor car, the next best option is to go with the 540 V8 motors and do a V8 transplant in the car. And obviously I'd like to run ITBs, which is the uh, throttle bodies, just to give it some show. It's not ideal. But uh, taking into consideration how rare the E34 M5s are, 540 will have to do. However, I did manage to source an M5 front bumper, to which it looks like this. I did manage to source an M5 cluster and an M5 suspension. So I might do the M5 suspension conversion or I might keep it up until we find the donor car later on. But for now, it looks like we're gonna go with the 540 V8, which I don't think will be a bad idea. Ideally, the M5 would be ultimate, but we gotta work with what we have. So that's the, the, the engine uh, um, or, or the plan for the engine. But now I said that the problem because I love this car, but I don't know what color to paint it and I don't know what interior color to go with. The wheel in question is most definitely going to be a BBS RS uh, split wheel. Uh, there's no doubt about that. These cars look killer as you can see on, uh, on the pictures here. So definitely BBS RS. We are actually in talks with Boston, uh, America to try and see if we can conclude a deal with them. Hopefully we can either go with the Vossen wheel or we're gonna go with the old school wheel, which is a BBS RS. Now I need you guys to help me here with the color and the color scheme. I like black, but I think black will hide the beauty of the car. So I'm kind of thinking to go either with, with, with the new M3 G80 series uh, gray. I forgot the name of the color. Oh, I'm thinking of going with something funky. Maybe you guys can help me. So please comment down below. I'd love to get your thoughts. And also please help us choose an idea. So this is a car that you guys are going to be very involved with as well. We're going to be documenting the whole boat start to finish. And also the challenges we face going to buy the donor car, etc, etc. So that's something we're going to be documenting. So I'd love to hear your suggestions. But... The color scheme has to work with the plan. And there's a plan, I can't tell you the plan, but just think there is a plan, so it's gotta work with the plan. So uh, think of something, let us know down below, I appreciate it. Let me show you guys the M5 suspension. This is a complete M5 suspension. Uh, I was lucky to find it. I bought it with the cluster and the front bumper from a gentleman by the name of Ibrahim in KZN. So shout out Ibrahim, thank you so much for hooking me up. So we got the suspension. As you can see, the dusts are bigger, the calipers are bigger. So there's a lot of differentiating factors between this Noble 5 series or the uh, non-M5 suspension versus the M5 suspension. There's also a few other stuff that I would need to get, which is the duff, the prop shaft, um, sure, gearbox, gearbox money is a whole lot of other stuff I need to get in order to do the M5 conversion. That is why I preferably would love to buy an M5 as a donor car, but it's got to be a fair price. So once again, if you guys know of anyone, please shout out. Now on the car itself, the bodywork is not bad. It did have a paint job, but we need to do a nicer paint job and also play around with colors. There's a few other stuff that I picked up on the car, like drywall screws in the beading. That definitely needs to be changed, but whatever donor car we get, if that beading is in a better condition, we'll definitely go with it. I need to change stuff like the door handles. There's a bit of a rubber that comes around here. 
we need to fix the sunroof, we need to replace the windscreen, the beading. So there is some work that needs to be done, but if I can find a decent 540 or a decent M5, I've got all the replacement parts for the car. Um, so yeah, plan is simple, nice motor swap, a nice exhaust system, killer set of wheels, good paint job, air ride suspension, and definitely the M5 interior. We also managed to get the M5 seat, so that's definitely a plus point. So we're moving there. It's just we need to start on the project now. But as you guys can see, the shop is like full to capacity, so there's no time to do it. So we are aiming to actually start the physical work, hopefully by the end of this month. This will give us around about two, three months, hopefully to finish the project. But uh, you guys know how it goes. We always run into issues. Hopefully we'll get it done. I'm confident we can get it done because it's not a lot of work. It's not a full boat. It's mainly just paint, plug and play, motor swap, air ride, which is bolt on, interior. So hopefully we can get it done. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it, super excited. So what I want from you guys now is help us find an M5 donor car, help us find the 540 donor car. Help us choose the color scheme. I've got my leather swatches, I've got my paint. I don't know what color to go with. So I don't wanna go with something bright. I don't wanna go with something dull. Um, so I'm not sure. I was kind of thinking maybe like a nice dark gray with a lighter interior. But then again, I need to go with the color that's gonna show off the lines of the car because it is a big car. And then interior wise, what color are we going with? This is the first time I don't have a plan for one of my cars. So your input will help quite a lot. So yeah, looking forward to it. And also, this is possibly the first time a South African is going to attend the SEMA show. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing all the guys again in the UK. Um, once again, UK car scene is absolutely mental, insane. The level of workmanship, wheels, everything in the UK is something that we're aspiring to get to. So it's definitely nice to go and travel and see new things. And that's what has inspired me to come back and change a lot of stuff in my business, which hopefully I uh, will get to that level one day. So thank you so much for tuning in. I know it's a short video. I just needed to give you all an update on the car and also show you guys where we are. We will be starting soon. Um, yeah, so it's an exciting project. It's not gonna, hopefully it's not gonna be as stressful as in Kabi. Uh, we'll get through it. But yeah, comment down below, suggestions, color scheme. Let's do it, guys. And once again, thank you so much for tuning in. We love you guys. We love the guys that are commenting, interacting. You guys are awesome. Chap Musa, stay safe.